Hello and welcome to this edition of Diecast Emporium. Today we're going to be reviewing the Diecast Masters Caterpillar Triple 5D Wheel Grapple Skitter or Skitter. The item number is 85932. This is a first generation Highline series model. Again, if you're just watching this video for the first time, that means that our friendly neighborhood operator Bob or the scale model operator Bob figure is not removable from the cab of this machine. So you will have to do some modification to that. Again, the new Highline series models by Caterpillar that have been produced within the past two years, Bob comes out of the cab. You can opt to put him in or take him out for a transport load. The initial run of Highline series models, that was not an option to you, and that is the case with this one. So with that noted, let's go ahead and take a look at the tin. Again, I mentioned for reference, it's item number 85932, and that's important if you want to go to your hobby dealer or your authorized distributor of Diecast Masters models, and you're looking for a model, you don't always have to memorize this. That's the only information you need to give them. They can find whatever model you're looking for and get it to you. There is a nice picture of the skitter at work in the forest in the snow. In fact, a very nice high-resolution picture there. On the back, you have another picture of the skitter. And there is your specification details of the real machine. Again, if you would like to pause the video and zoom in on that and read it, feel free to do so now. Inside the tin, along with the model, you have the catalog, which has the entire product range of Diecast Masters models. So here is the skitter in 1 to 50 scale. Uh, I would say that most everything on this model is die-cast. A couple of the components, such as the detail components and things like that, are plastic. Obviously, the wheels, the tires are rubber. Um, but other than that, such as, you know, like the cylinder jackets, things like that, that's plastic. These um, sweeps right here, that is like a composite material, a mixture of plastic and die-cast. It's not full-on metal, it's not full-on plastic. But really everything else, such as the grapple, the arch, um, the cab, the main chassis, the engine housing, the blade, all of that is mostly die-cast. So it's really, for a skitter, it's really a heavy piece, as you can see here. The front axle oscillates like it should. The rear is fixed in position. Similar to wheel loaders, Skitters turn by articulation, and that can be modeled here across the pivot point, just like that. Some of the other smaller details that this model has are warning labels here and here. There's also a protection structure on the cab, and it actually has some texturing to it. I'm not sure if you'll be able to hear that on camera. But it does have a nice texture and feel to it. There's also hand and grab rails, tiny, tiny ones all over the model. But again, that adds some detail and realism aspect to it. The tires have a really good tread pattern to it. They're simple, but according to the reference pictures, that's pretty accurate to what this machine really had. Moving to the front, you have the dozing blade. And that is as far down as it goes, which is just about flush with the ground, but not exactly. As you can see, I can fit the pointer underneath it. It will raise to a very good height. Moving towards the business end of any grapple skitter, if we open up the tongs, they will open to here. So if you have some um, little sticks that you can use as model logs, you should be able to get a handful or so in here without an issue and they close up, the tongs will close up to there. Also, it does rotate. Unfortunately, though, it does struggle to actually go down. This is as far as it will go, so it doesn't touch the ground. You can raise it and pull it back to there, but that is the extent of the movement, which is a bit disappointing. However, if this model ever gets moved to the Core Classics line for Diecast Masters, perhaps that is something, this mechanism in here, um, perhaps that is something they can work on and improve to make this a much, much better model. At least make this be able to go and touch the ground, pick up logs, and skid along like a skidder would do. But still in all, in terms of the actual 
you know, aesthetic looks and the overall profile of the model. It's very good looking, especially if you have the other forestry models by Diecast Masters, such as the, the 568 twins, like the Road Builder uh, and the Log Loader. You can set up a pretty realistic and good looking diorama. They are reasonably priced as well. So I would say overall, if you're into that kind of thing, it's worth adding to your collection. If you guys have any comments or questions, as always, please leave them down in the comment section below. Until next time, take care, be safe, and we'll see you in the next video.